how to alter the location of keyframes on a video clip inside the Fusion window in DaVinci Resolve 17.3.1. Inside my Projects Edit window, I currently have one Fusion composition clip on my timeline. If I right click on this and go to Open in Fusion page, inside the Nodes panel we can see one Ellipse 1 tool connected to Media Out 1. Two keyframes have been applied to the Ellipse 1 tool. With this selected, under Inspector and Controls, we can find the soft edge variable. The frame pointer on the Fusion timeline is currently at the first frame 0. As indicated by the red diamond icon, next to the soft edge value, a keyframe has been applied here. The soft edge value here is 0.0. .0. The Fusion Composition clip comprises of a frame rate of 24 stills per second. On the Fusion timeline, a small vertical white line appears at frame 71, which marks the spot where the second keyframe has been applied. The soft edge value at the second keyframe point is 0.2. This results in a transition where the initial solid ellipse then changes to a blur across 3 seconds of timeline. What if in this project here, I wanted to relocate the point where the second keyframe has been applied. So instead of having the ellipse reaching its maximum blurred effect by 3 seconds, I will move the second keyframe forward so that the ellipse reaches its maximum blurred state by 4 seconds of screen time at frame 95. Go to select your spline option. In the graph window which appears towards the bottom, Tick the box for the variable that contains keyframes that you wish to relocate on your video edit. In this case here I will tick soft edge. If you cannot see any boxes or lines appearing on your graph, you can adjust the two small circles above this by clicking and dragging them to the left. The numbers in the top part of the graph represent the frame numbers for your video clip. The numbers that appear to the left side represent the values for the variable that you have applied keyframes to. To see more of your line, if you have a longer video clip, you can also click and drag your mouse cursor sideways by the frame numbers at the top of your graph, or click and drag vertically by the numbers which represent the variable values to the side, to adjust the view in your graph. The red playhead is currently positioned at frame 0, with the keyframe represented by a small square at the point where the line changes direction. What I need to do to make the blur transition in my video here last for 4 seconds instead of 3, I need to select the final square representing my second keyframe and drag this further along my graph by an additional 24 frames, maintaining its position parallel with 0.2 so that the soft edge value remains the same. When clicking and dragging your keyframe squares, pay close attention to the change in position of the small white vertical line on your Fusion timeline as well as the value associated with your selected keyframe which appears in a box below the bottom right corner of your graph. Since the value of soft edge is slightly larger in the second keyframe point here, I'm going to manually adjust this to 0.2. And now previewing the video from the very beginning again, as we can see in the inspector window, the second keyframe has now been moved to the 4 second mark which is set at frame 95. The background music in this video is supplied by the Proud Channel Sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and a code that can be used to purchase a lifetime supply of music and sound effects at a discounted price can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.